listen, man, I get it. It's hot, it's raining, you're probably gonna be here all day. They're making you wear a mask. You're probably thinking that this is gonna really change your experience at Universal, the way that you've done theme parks. And you're right, but I'm here to tell you that it's not that bad, and I am gonna show you why. So welcome to the Surviving the New Universal Edition of Vincent Vision. Watch out. Adventure lives on, my friends. Yes, it does. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the latest episode of Vincent Vision. Watcha, watcha, double watcha, so I can take my hat and my hood off. Oh, it's humid. We are back at Universal Orlando Resort, the first major theme park to reopen after the coronavirus closures. We're back at the theme park. Wow, big one this time. I feel like one of the biggest things I've seen anytime I saw like a Facebook news article or Twitter or Instagram, people talking about the parks reopening, there's actually a really, really good chunk of people who just flat out said, hey, I'm not gonna come back to the theme parks until I don't have to wear a mask because I don't feel safe. I don't like the experience. I don't think it's gonna be enjoyable. I wanted to make this video for the people who are maybe really, really worried about having to come to Universal with these new guidelines in place, walking around with a mask, it's super hot, it's super sweaty. I totally get it. I wanna show you guys that it's not too bad. And Universal has a lot of different things in place to make people feel comfortable while they're here so you can still enjoy your experience. So let's jump into it. Oh, there's the hole. Man, I have not been on a roller coaster in so long. I'm definitely riding that today. So let's talk about the biggest, most obvious elephant in the room. Masks, yes, masks are required here at Universal. You gotta wear them, man, sorry. Now you're probably thinking, what? Do I have to wear this mask all day, all the time? Well, you don't. I think Universal has actually done a really, really good job at having different little areas where you can actually take your mask off while you're in the park. I am gonna show you one of them. May I introduce you to the U-Rest area. They've got two of these in both parks. They've got some in City Walk as well, and basically it's pretty straight up. You may remove your face covering while in this area. Just make sure you still social distance. You come on in like this, and I'm now, I'm in the U-Rest area. I got nobody here. Look at that roller coaster all the way over there. I gotta watch my step, I'm stepping down the stairs. And then the moment you've been waiting for, ah, I have now successfully taking my mask off here at Universal because of the U-Rest area. These are really big, spacious areas. There's a bunch of chairs and tables and things like that. And just spend as much time as you need in here. It's a place that you can take your mask off. You can take your mask off here, okay? This isn't like, like a, a freaking The Hunger Games. You are allowed to take your mask off in certain areas. And while you're walking around the park, if you're eating and drinking, you're able to take your mask off too. Like I think, they get it, Universal is run by humans. All they really ask is that you be respectful to others around you. If you see that you're in a busy area or a high traffic area, keep your mask on. But I think if you like break off in a corner and as long as you're doing your best to remain socially distant and you need a breather somewhere and you're not near these U-Rest areas, you can take your mask off. They're not gonna like, a red laser sniper dot's gonna get you or anything crazy like that. It is also like worth saying that Technically, this is private property and you chose to come here, so you have to follow the rules. If you are walking around without your mask and a Universal team member tells you, hey, put your mask on, put your mask on, man. Just be cool, follow the rules, have a good time. You wanna ride roller coasters, don't you? Well, this is what you gotta do. So, yeah, not too bad. And speaking of roller coasters, I think I'm gonna use this time here at this empty Islands of Adventure to ride the number one ride that I've been wanting to ride this entire quarantine. I'm talking about the Incredible Hulk, baby. <laughs> Look at it go. The Incredible Hulk coaster. I'll say it was like so nice to get back on a roller coaster. Like when we shot out and did the flip, I had like goosebumps. So I was like, ooh, this is what it feels like. I forgot. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, but I will say, <laughs> It's definitely an experience to wait in line for this particular ride. I think I could say right off the bat that pretty much every ride that you wait in line for 
is going to take a lot longer to get on. They are loading every other row for the Incredible Hulk roller coaster, and they're loading it just by your party. Like, I literally just, like, sat by myself in my own row, which is kind of nice once you get there, but it definitely slows down the process. It took up every fiber of my bean not to fill up all the available space. They have social distance markers kind of set up throughout the entire queue, which makes something that seems like a 10 minute long queue turn into a 25 or a 30 minute queue. That particular ride, I was able to get into the regular line and wait, but not all of them are like this. One of the first things you're gonna notice when you start going into Islands of Adventure is this sign here to join the virtual line for Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure. You point your camera there, it's a QR code that basically just takes you to the app. That little sign that they have there, the QR code, like I said, just takes you straight to the app. For Hagrid's in particular, it seems as if that right now is the only way you're gonna be able to ride the ride. What's really, really good about this reservation system with Hagrid is that it is not like Rise of the Resistance. As in, I got to the park at about like 10 o'clock this morning and they still have passes. They don't like give them all out right at the beginning of the day. They kind of pepper them in, scatter them out throughout the day. So all you really gotta do is just check your phone consistently and you'll get a time, you know, if, you, if you're diligent enough. Obviously, if the ride's broken down or it's raining or things like that, it's a different story. But I was checking my phone just at random and I was able to get a time for 12 o'clock. So I am gonna head towards Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure. As I head over to Hagrid's, I'm sure a lot of people wanna know, the bars are open again. So you can get a good drink at Backwater Bar, one of my favorite bars here at Islands Adventure. I wanted to show you what the U-Rest area by Sinbad looks like. I'll tell you right now, out of the two rest areas they have at Islands Adventure, this is probably the infinitely better one. It's closer to Hagrid and there's lots and lots of space to social distance, sit down, take your mask off, take a breather and pretend there's a show going on. What used to be, in my opinion, the worst part about waiting in the Hagrid's line is slightly more tolerable now that there's less people. Hanging out with my friend Giancarlo from Miami Wave High. How you do? We got my iPhone now because my vlog camera's in the lockers. They are skipping the pre-show. Oh, they gotta keep, it's still running though. Yeah, I guess it's still running. I think they just have this like on loop where Fang walks around, which I don't really mind because it's, he's a good boy. We are almost there. It has been about, 39 minutes, 40 minutes. Pretty soon, we are gonna be riding Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure again. This room used to be filled with hundreds and hundreds of people, and now, not so much. Thank you. And after 45 minutes, Now it's time to eat some food. I am one hungry dude. So three broom six was a little too busy. So we're gonna try our luck at Thunder Falls Terrace and check out the brand new mobile ordering system. Hello, yep, little know, dinosaur. Guys, we got our mask on. All right. You know, guy about the set. Yeah, gotta keep the dinosaur safe. We got our table. We are doing mobile ordering. This is how they want you to do things now. Count Carlos getting on the app. You gotta He's gonna go. get some food. You gotta go to here. Order food and drinks. What is the name of this place? This is Thunder Falls Terrace. Thunder Falls. I wish there was a search function. There you there go. There you go, boom. Oh, they have little pictures, I didn't know that. I think last time I checked this, they didn't have pictures, which is kind of nice. There it is, there's our food. Basically, you order it on the app, you put your phone over here, they show up and they're like, hey, what do you want? And you say, I want this. And they were able to make modifications even though there's no way to make modifications on the app, so I think it worked out pretty well. Really, really wanted to check out the brand new Raptor Encounter. It looks great to look at, but I think it's currently not running because of the tiny, tiny rain. <sighs> rain, rain, rainy rain. You know what, man, I will tell you, it's been pretty okay weather today. It's been like baby rain like this all day. I'm gonna kind of sit on my phone there for a little bit, catch a breather, and then head on home. I pretty much did everything that I wanted to do today. I wanted to try and show you guys all the big, major, changes that Universal has implemented. I wanted to show you why they're maybe not that bad. Like the masks, yes, I get it. It's hot, 
even on a day like today, it's not too hot. I'm still like, oh man. But they have places that you can take them off. Um, they're not like robots. If you go off to the corner and take your mask off, you should be just fine. Just obviously be cool, practice social distancing around other people. The virtual line system worked out for me with Hagrid. I actually felt like I got really, really lucky. With Hagrid's motorbike adventure, I just checked my phone and I was able to grab a time for a pretty, pretty soon frame rate. But it's a good thing that it's not like something like Rise of the Resistance, which requires you to be here right when the park opens, because I got here at about 10 o'clock in the morning and the mobile food ordering, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I think if you like avoid the obvious, like really, really busy lunch times and the really, really popular places like a Three Brew Six League Cauldron, all the Harry Potter stuff, obviously, you can have a pretty decent time. And they were able to modify my order. I was worried because in the app, you can't really modify stuff. You were able to do it on there. Worked out pretty okay, you know? So yeah, I mean, that's all I got. Universal is back open. Woo, we did it. We did it. One theme park opening in the books. Sure, they're gonna do a lot of the same things that Universal is doing right now at Disney World, but well, it could also be completely different. So who's to say? But I just wanna to say to all those people who are maybe a little worried about coming to the parks, thinking that this is gonna lessen their experience, listen, it's definitely gonna change your experience. But if you love coming to Universal and you love these theme parks, you gotta do what you gotta to do to see them, right? <laughs> so hey, thank you guys for watching Vincent Vision. I hope you had a good time. Please be sure to like, subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff. Watch some more of my videos. Come to Universal if you get the chance. I will say, if you are willing to come here, put on the mask, do what you gotta do to make others feel safe, you will be rewarded with a pretty much empty park. Thank you guys for watching. Have fun out there. I'm so glad the theme parks are reopening. We got a big one down. We got a few more to go, and then soon things will come back to normal, I hope. So, see you around, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.